So keep that in mind. Factoring is really a form of dividing, and we're going to do it by grouping into groups where things can be divided out. Please write down this first problem with me. The term in the middle has been split. If I was going to add this together, it would be 23x. I purposely broke it apart the way I did because of grouping. I'm going to box these like this. Picture this as an upside down division symbol, like right? And I'm going to box these two. We're factoring. That means we're dividing things that they both have. What do both of these terms have? Four. I mean, three. Oops, I put a 16 in front of that. That's not a 16. That was my line. It's 6x squared. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm, I'm looking at my notes and the box was there and I saw a 16. Okay, so 6 and 3, what's the greatest common factor between 6 and 3? Three. three. x squared and x, what's the greatest common factor between those? So I can divide a 3x from both of these. What does my other group have in common? 10. It also has 5, but we're going for the greatest. This term has no x, so we're only going to divide this by, uh, by 10. We're going to rewrite this by taking what we're dividing out of the first one. And we're going to divide it from both terms. What is 6x squared divided by 3x going to be? 2x. And 3x divided by 3x? 1. So this is 2x plus 1. Plus the 10. And then another set of parentheses where we divide the 10 from these two terms. What's 20x divided by 10? Oops, I'm off screen. Let me zoom out a little bit. Yep, it's going to be 2x. 20 divided by 10 is 2, and there's no x to divide out. 10 divided by 10 is? 1. What do you notice about the parentheses? They're the same. They're the same. This is what we call, and I want you drawing these arrows, this is called a common factor. Do factors get multiplied or added? Multiplied. 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 So I'm going to take that common factor, 2x plus 1, it's one factor, and then the two things we divided out, the 3x and the 10, they're part of another factor. This whole craziness, we rewrote it simplified here because we factored out numbers and x's. And then we took this common factor, it's here. And we took the other pieces and made a second factor, it's here. And now to check them, because they're factors, we can multiply. Wow, I'm basically making it into like a manual formula. We're doing the opposite. Remember I told you at the end of chapter 7 when you guys wanted to like take things and move them into to standard form? I was like, don't. It's because of this. What's my first term here going to be? 6x six six X what? Where? Look up here. What's this term going to be? Ooh, that's Do we see a 20x in the original? Yep. What's this going to be? Yes. <laughs> and? Okay. All of the things in our boxes match these terms. So we did it right. <laughs> x squared plus 2x minus 3x minus 6. Are we going to do the opposite divide now? We're going to factor it by grouping. We're going to group this set 
and this set. What does my first group have as its greatest common factor? X. Just an X. What does my second one have? Negative three. Negative three. So I'm going to rewrite this as an addition problem. We're going to have X times what's going to go in the parentheses. X. X. X plus two. Yeah, X plus two. Oh. <laughs> and I'm going to put a plus sign there. Negative three. I'm going to put the negative three in parentheses just because it has that negative and I don't want to lose it. You know how things can start looking messy? Okay, if I take negative three X and divide it by negative three, what's going to... I get X. Negative six divided by negative three is... Two. What kind of two? Positive. And... I have a common factor here. Whoa. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to rewrite this as x plus 2 times x minus 3. Where did I get the minus 3 from? Because it's a parentheses. Here. Where did I get the x from? Here. Oh. And how do we check it? Multiply that. Yep. X plus 2, X minus 2, I'm sorry, 3. This is why I should not do my work in pen. Hold on. Hold on. Question. Go ahead. You mean like this parenthesis, the fact that they match? When we're doing this, this is still an addition problem up here, and we're factoring it out to become a multiplication problem. I'm saying these two here are the same, so it's represented here, and these two pieces are represented as my other factor. We'll keep going. It'll make more sense as you do it more often. x squared minus 3x. 2x, negative 6. Wow. Ready for one more before I give you practice? Yes. Okay. Let's use a y. 2y to the third. No, you can. Plus y squared plus 8y squared plus 4y. Oh my God. I broke apart the middle term. Y squared and 8y squared would really be 9y squared. But I pulled it apart for grouping on purpose. I wanted this side to have a 4y that I could divide out. Do you see where the 4 is coming from from both of them? Yes. And on this group, what can I divide out? Y to the second power. So I'm going to rewrite them over here. y to the second power is going to have its own parentheses. And 4y is going to have its own parentheses. And if we're doing this right, we're going to see the same numbers appear in here as we divide our term out here. <clears throat> That's one of the first steps you know you've done your grouping right if these become a common factor. Okay? So what's 2y to the third divided by y squared? 2 is going to stay because there's no 2 being divided, right? Yes. Ooh, How many y's are going to be left? 1. Yeah, so the first term is 2y. y squared divided by y squared is? Y. Y. 1. y squared over y squared is 1. And then we are hoping to see the same numbers, 2y plus 1, show up over here. If I divide 8y squared by 4y, do I get 2y? Yes. Because 8 divided by 4 is 2. y squared divided by y one. is y. y squared minus 1 is y. Like you said, it is subtraction, so those rules are still there for our exponents. What's 4y divided by 4y? 1. Oh my gosh, so that's the There's my common factor. I can rewrite this now as y squared 
plus 4y times 2y plus 1. And how do we check it? What the part of the box? This chapter truly is where so much of what we've done all year starts coming together. I thought you said that in the last one. I did, but it's building even further. We're getting that next step. <laughs> Why squared? I'm so glad you listened to me. Huey's over there like, what? I'm kidding, teasing you. This is making sense as we're going though, isn't it? Okay. What is y squared times 2y? 2y. Just that power. <laughs> what is y squared plus 1? y to the second power. And 4y times 2y? 8 to the second And 4y times 1? 4y. Everything in those boxes matches the original Whoa, terms. I got a new freezer. Okay. Here's what I'm going to give you guys for practice. I'm giving you <clears throat> one half of the worksheet. I did not copy anything on the back. There were this, There's a total of 28 problems on this. You don't need to do that many. You don't even have to do the 14 that are here. You have to do enough that you're walking in here confident that whatever two problems like this I give you tomorrow, you can ace. Is it going to grade book? Yes. Okay, good. I'm going to get my grade up. Okay. I 